Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what I'm gonna label this video yet, but it's gonna be something along the lines of like a planner's uh, embarrassment or confession or I don't know, planning to fail. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Because here it is, what is it? Middle, almost the end of April, I guess, the second to last part of April. April 18th and I haven't yet done a plan with me video for April and why is that <laughs> well it's because I've been so busy that I actually have not even been planning which as you know if you are a planner just leads to total chaos and I saw something recently that said something like planning is not just writing to-do lists and I think a lot of my own planning is writing those to-do lists because that's how I keep organized. However, you have to also manage your time in terms of knowing how long something's going to take. It's not unlike when I've done videos about budgeting and stuff and when you figure out how much of money is going to this and how much money is going to that, but you're kind of making a time budget in the case of planning. And obviously I'm doing a poor job at that. So <laughs> I'm, I'm coming here to confess and uh, say that, you know, I'll show you my spreads and I did my stickers and things like that, but I have just been kind of going like at the seat of my pants, I suppose, like uh, week by week. And I have to say that I've forgotten a few things. I mean, I've not missed anything. But it's like last minute I'll go, oh no, I didn't have that written down because I'm always so structured with what happens on each week and everything and what I write down. And then also I have kind of laughed at myself too because I've thought of something and I think, oh, I, I can't forget that. So then I write it down on the list. And then when I'm at the end of the week, like going through to check off stuff that I might've forgotten to check and I see that I wrote the same thing three times or something like that, I've been finding a lot of duplicates sometimes more than twice. So it's like I forgot that I already wrote it down and or I didn't like scan the list to see if it was there. I just was running around and trying to make sure that it was on the list. So I'll take a pause after you have my confession here and tell you that this is not a great month to go by for my plan by me or plan with me, I should say, uh, because I didn't fill out my goal sheet. I guess a part of you too, or at least for me anyway, when I get into this, I don't have any time to do anything kind of feeling, or I'm just working all the time or whatever, I'm just trying to like make it through the day. First of all, what happens is everything at home takes a second seat or back seat. Um, so my speech is all chaotic too. Sorry, this isn't being all succinct, but you know, dishes are not done, laundry's not done, the bed's probably not made, you know, things are everywhere, it's just like, haven't checked the mail, you know, all the stuff that is like daily living stuff is, is not being prioritized the way that I try to have a good balance. I've shown you in my planner how I have one column for home and uh, one column for business and work, but it's like all the work is taking over that, so. And, and then also on my enrichment pages, when I went to do them this month, I guess here we are in April. This is probably like somebody that makes a, a New Year's resolution. It wasn't a New Year's resolution to do this because I've been doing it for a long time, but around this time in the year is when somebody is just like throwing the towel on whatever goal they had. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm throwing in the, the towel on my goals, but when I look, you know, like we finished March and I'm looking at all the things that I had set out that I wanted to do in March on my enrichment pages. And so I don't want them to become a place where I feel like I'm failing. I need to make those a priority too. You can believe that if I'm not getting laundry and dishes and stuff done, then I'm definitely not doing enrichment activities. So maybe some people would be off doing their enrichment activities versus doing the chores, but I'm not even doing the chores. So it's just, just like too much, lots of work. And I did talk to you guys when I did, I think my March spread that I was thinking about making a change with a part-time job that I have. And I did finally make a decision to do that. So hopefully going forward, once that is all situated, 
and they find a replacement for some of my hours, then I'll be able to maybe have a little better, better work balance with life. So I hope that I will have a May uh, plan with me that'll be more timely and, and not feeling like such a failure, we'll see. Uh, but here are my April pages. I'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, so here's my April spread. And just like I've done on other months, I have some seasonal things like Easter and, well, this is tax day, I suppose, is also seasonal. For my simple abundance wording up here, I have rebirth, resurrection, and the sun shining on a newly green world remind us of our excavation of self and the authenticity blooming. That was me writing that from some themes in Simple Abundance. So this is kind of like my regular setup. I didn't do anything super fancy here. Same thing as always with special symbols and stuff for certain things. This is my work and business, monthly home tasks. Here's my life in Richmond, <laughs> which is just pretty much bare. There's my empty gold sheet. Um, again, because I think I told you last time, a lot of my goals and, and things that I'm working on are the same every month, so I just didn't transfer them over. So as I have always the errands, groceries, and to get, pending order, gift certificates, coupons, things like that. Oh, and I didn't even mention when I showed you this beautiful April thing here with the blossoms. I found some on Etsy from the lady that I like that makes my tabs. These are all various cherry blossom uh, options. So I haven't even gone back in some of these past weeks and either checked or X things out. This looks a lot like a previous month. You know, I like to do sometimes themes that go together. My golden kitties here. I am still doing my Sunday Sabbaths, which is good. Again, I didn't even do my weekly musings that month, or that week, I should say. This is another week, some more blossoms here. More things to check off that I probably moved to the next week but didn't do. I do love my unicorn fairy sort of sticker pad that I have. Kind of went a little nuts with the flowers you know after winter it feels really nice to have flowers i did fill some of the things out on weekly musings this past weekend now we're into this week that we're in i'm actually feeling like obviously i'm doing a video so i have a little bit of extra time um, that was yesterday and this is today i pretty much got most of the things i needed to do done and this is what I'm talking about where I normally I would have a big long list of stuff that was already written in and I've just been kind of going day by day, week by week. There's another fairy on a unicorn. This will be next week so I don't have anything on there yet. I usually transfer that over during the weekend. I have written some of the weekly things on but again, there could be duplicates because <laughs> I keep doing that. I really did use a lot of the fairy ones this month. And I have a rainbow pad. I can see a lot of the rainbows in here too. I feel like I did this so long ago too. All right, and here we are at the end of the month. So that is my quick little run through it's not super exciting, but that's April and my planner's confession. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.